Good evening. Welcome to I and Bethel. I'm Paul Zetkowski, your host for tonight's program. Normally, this particular program, I and Bethel, which is brought to you by the Bethel Republican Town Committee, speaks about politics, issues. We usually bring in politicians either from the town or from the state to discuss issues which are pertinent to the town of Bethel. Tonight, we're changing that program entirely. What we're going to talk about today is health. Your health my health. You know, every day we get up in the morning, walk into that bathroom after taking a shower, and then get on that scale and say, oh my God, what happened? Another pound. Since the holidays, you know, everybody is saying, boy, the holiday food was great, but now we're suffering. Some of us may be couch potatoes. Some of us think about exercise, but we re really just think about it. You know, and what's the worst thing, and I'm sure many of you have done the very same thing as I have, gone to the doctor's office, got on their scale, and they'll say, like it to me, Paul, the weight is going up. Then you get the blood drawn. And what happens when they get the results? Suddenly, the cholesterol, it's going up. The ratio between HDL, LDL, which is talking about the good cholesterol, bad cholesterol, that's not in the right ratio. And as we age, usually the blood sugars or blood glucose, that goes up. And you hear this infamous statement, either from your doctor or within the community, we find it on, in the media, exercise, exercise, exercise. And by exercising, you usually find that the cholesterol goes down, the blood sugar go, usually goes down. But as I said earlier, after this winter season, you're finding that the weight is a little up there, and perhaps we're concerned about our health in general. And normally what you think about is saying, should I go to a gym? Maybe it's a good idea. But under these, this economic condition that we're experiencing right now, they're saying it's a recession, depression, we're watching every little penny. How can we help ourselves? Well, tonight's program, as I promised, it's, we're not dealing with politics. We're going to be dealing with health. And with me tonight, I have three people from the town of Bethel who are going to help me talk about this health issue. With me tonight, I have Laura Vasile, who is the director of the uh, Department of Health, Eileen Earle, who is the director of Park and Rec, and a physical instructor who works with Eileen, Eileen Burns. Ladies, welcome to the program here. Hi. And, you know, let me begin with Laura right here. Laura, you know, you're the Department of Health Director. Normally I come and talk to you about, you know, restaurants, about homes that perhaps may have uh, mold, mildew. That's something that you're always concerned with. You're always concerned about food inspections within right. the, uh, the grocery stores. This is a little different now yeah. tonight. We're going to talk about a little bit about health. Let's just talk about how your department's getting involved in this area of health in general. All right. Well, as the director of health, um, I am uh, interested in um, helping to people make sure that they use smart choices for a healthy lifestyle. And I have community partners that I link up with and have for a very long time. I think. Eileen and I, the, Eileen and Eileen and I have worked together for a very long time in helping people again with living well and making choices that make them feel good and um, make them uh, happy about where they're at in life. And so we were hoping we could share with you uh, the programs that we sponsor through the town of Bethel that help people do that mm -hmm. and uh, at a very economical rate. One of the programs that Body, uh, Body by Bethel that Bethel Health Department sponsors is in uh, partnership with Eileen and the town of Bethel. Mm -hmm. And you, uh, Eileen helps us schedule it in the municipal center and I do all the paperwork for the grant and our residents get to be in the fall or spring program and they have a fitness trainer and she helps them have uh, in introduce aerobic activity and nutritional components to their uh, program and it's for about 12 weeks. It's one of our really successful, fun community programs that we do. Yes. Eileen Earl yeah. now, we're going to get her involved in this conversation. What made you think to go in this particular direction? Well, I think when um, 
the municipal center became the municipal center and we had the access to the gym facility, we were able to expand our programs and, and offer more adult programs and programs during the day, which we were not able to do. And the first Body by Bethel program, which was free, to the health department one is free, um, kind of jumped us started to get the program off the ground and then those people wanted to continue. So now we offer four classes in total, plus really? the health department class. So there's two classes in the mornings on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and there's two in the evenings on Tuesdays now, and Thursdays. The, 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 since this is uh, March already, okay, I assume the present class is already filled up and you have to wait till the next... Then there's sessions, right? right. We just started, actually, we started last week with our new spring session, which um, we won eight-week sessions of all those programs. Um, so they have started last week and most of them have taken it since September and okay. then they take it all year. We're even contemplating, we usually take the summers off because of the schedules and people do a lot more outdoor activities, but we're getting requests to keep it going through the summer months. So we may just do every eight weeks run the program. Let's, let's so. talk about a prerequisite for, for, for this particular program. Is there a particular age we're looking at? Um, this is mainly adults mm -hmm. over 18. We uh, try not to, um, mix high school kids we try to offer a teen program that's similar so we try not to um, mix the the teenagers with the adults um, they do have to fill out a medical form okay. and get approval from a doctor right to sign off on it and then we try to keep our fee as as low as we possibly no, can no no uh, are there when you say you get approval by a doctor in other words we're not going to be taking somebody who's got a severe heart condition or anything like that no they have to have doctor's approval, approval right to, to take part. A lot, a lot of people over 18 do have medical issues, Paul, mm -hmm. but by going to the doctor, the doctor has the chance to speak with the personal fitness instructors, and okay. a lot of programs do this, maybe we'll talk about this again, to tell us what those medical issues are, what the medication the person and is what on, are the, what are and the limitations? we work yeah. with that, mm -hmm. because these programs, what we preach is everybody goes at their pace, okay. everybody goes at their level with their medical condition, okay. so we do take people at a wide range of health uh, levels. Okay.